Okay, welcome. Let's Lionel Tech Lead and partner Westfall. And today I'm making the super duper simple Docker tutor tutorial because I looked at my last tutorial and it was absolutely crap. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, so we're going to okay application and get it installed. Okay. If you're using Windows, you're going to have to upgrade so you can do the virtual images and development environments. So. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to create a folder that you want to make use of. I've already created one. Uh, going to be mounting our code uh, into the virtual, uh, into the container, right? Okay, the next step after that is that we're going to create a Docker file. This Docker file has no extension onto it. So the best way you can do this is to use PowerShell. So just pop out outside here, left click and go PowerShell. Now this is for my windows, so new, go in there, item, and call it docker file. No extension, nothing. This is the best way to do it. Hit that and you now have a docker file. The next thing you're going to do in this list, okay, is that we're going to start to populate this docker file with to the docker hub and look for your image. So image is like a pre-played uh, container image you can search for it I'm gonna go straight and get the version of the bullseye version so all you have to do is type from PHP 8.1 Apache bullseye bullseye is a type of Debian which is a Linux um, it's a brand of Linux Apache is the web server that runs PHP 8.1 once you've got that docker file just say save it okay and then the next step after that is you're going to create Docker Compose. Compose is going to do all the work for us. In here and go new item. Docker Compose YML. Okay, so that's going to create for us. So that's Docker Compose. Okay, what do you want to set Docker Compose up with? Our file, which I'm going to paste over here. So you have services and called web. So that's uh, basically one of your containers. The build will be dot, which will be looking for a Docker file. Uh, port will be 8081 because my 80 is being used already by XAMPP. So I'm mapping it. This is a port map. And finally, volumes, which syncs a folder in my Windows to a virtual folder. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to save this. But HTML. And finally, we're going to run Docker up. So docker compose up <clears throat> and what will happen is that it is going to take the instructions of docker compose, go and look for the docker file and then run the uh, container and save that and load it. Hello world is now running. Check your docker. We have a container running. We have an image that's been generated. We have a development environment. Okay, hello world is now working. If you want to know that that is PHP 8.1, run PHP info. And it's live and syncing. And guys, that's it. That's the bottom line because our tech lead said so.